I think it's safe to say that every person in this room has been affected by cancer in some way, either through yourself, family, or friends. You might have even heard of the difficult ways in which we treat cancer using chemotherapy, surgery, or radiation. Now, what if I told you that I can cure cancer with gold? In my thesis, I'm looking at the effects of treating cancer with gold nanoparticles combined with radiation therapy. So first off, what is a gold nanoparticle? It's a tiny ball of gold, smaller than a human blood cell. Gold nanoparticles are so small, in fact, that when injected into a patient, they travel straight to the patient's tumor, avoiding the rest of the body. Once they get there, they can deliver drugs, such as chemotherapy, or sit and wait for us to hit them with radiation. See, the really exciting thing about gold nanoparticles, at least for us, is that they make radiation far more effective. So let's take a step back and imagine radiation to be like a stream of bullets. If I want to get to a tumor deep inside of a patient, I have to shoot those bullets through the patient's healthy organs, hurting the patient along the way. Radiation is the same way. It damages the patient's healthy tissue while trying to kill the tumor. Now, a gold nanoparticle, on the other hand, is like a tiny grenade. One well-placed bullet of radiation to that grenade will destroy the tumor while keeping the rest of the body relatively unharmed. This will lead to lower side effects and overall a better treatment for our patients. So where do I come into this? Ten years ago, researchers found that when they treated mice with gold nanoparticles, they lived much longer than when they were treated with radiation therapy alone. Uh, using, we are hoping to extend this to humans. Using simulations, we're able to look at thousands of patients and look, treat thousands of patients in the same time that you would treat a single patient using conventional radiotherapy. We can look at patients of different sites, uh, breast cancer, prostate cancer, as well as different body shapes and sizes, things that all affect the treatment type. So far, we've developed a simple computer simulation to look at the best type of radiation to treat with gold nanoparticles. We've also done a simple brain tumor simulation with promising results. We found that much more of the radiation went to the tumor and much less of that damaging radiation to the surrounding healthy brain tissue. In the future, we're hoping to extend this to various other sites, including lung tumors and prostate cancer, as well as looking at how gold nanoparticles affect the body on a cellular level. In the end, if we can come even one step closer to finding a cure for cancer, we'll have accomplished our goal. Thank you.